As of today, the vaccine is now available to thousands more people in Arkansas. That's because the governor is telling everyone in Group 1B to go ahead and get the shot. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Roly Hoyt. THV 11's Mercedes McKay heard Governor Asa Hutchison make the announcement in person at the Capitol. Mercedes, we've been in Phase 1B, but only partially. Rolly, you're exactly right. Before this morning, the only people that were eligible in Group 1B were those over the age of 65, educators and first responders. But now everyone in Group 1B can get the vaccine, which means 180,000 more Arkansans will soon be protected. We want to get them in the arms of Arkansans because it is what? Uh, is saving lives and getting us back to more normal. After a weekend noticing demand for the vaccine was decreasing, the governor announced a major expansion in the rollout process. We are opening up the 1B category to everyone in 1B. This means several other groups are eligible to get the shots, like people who work in grocery stores, manufacturing facilities, public transportation, and essential government workers. All of those that are dealing really in a public facing or in a close environment or critical industry that needs to be covered. Governor Hutchinson says the reason for the abrupt expansion is recently mass clinics around the state have had open spots. Just days ago in Jonesboro, he says a clinic had 3,000 available appointments and only filled less than 2,000. It did uh, surprise me last week that we did have that gap, and that's why we wanted to move very quickly on the first thing this Monday to open up all of 1B. Two more major announcements were made by the governor, including moving Arkansans with mental or developmental disabilities from Group 1C to 1B, as well as starting a statewide vaccination appointment call center that will be open daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Arkansans can call and directly schedule appointments for the Department of Health vaccine clinics or get help finding the nearest appointment. We want to be as helpful as possible, and that is the reason for this. With these changes, the governor is hopeful we will reach his target goal of having everyone in one be vaccinated by the end of March. This is an urgent matter to me. Uh, this is where we want our team to get them in arms within 72 hours of whenever they arrive in this state. Dr. Jose Romero said one of the main problems we're having right now in our state is people have their name on too many vaccination lists. So if you have your name on multiple lists, they really don't encourage it. But if you do and you get the shot, make sure you remove your name off any other list so people can move up in line. Live at the Capitol, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.